And we're back to exploring generated fill. Let me show you how you can change the clothes. For example, this shirt here. Let me copy this one and I use the lasso tool to make the selection. I've got it set to add parts to selection. One thing that I already found out is you want to make the selection a little bit bigger when it comes to the neck. So normally a shirt would have kind of like a round neck or something like this, but I make it bigger on purpose because if you make it too small and you draw a round neck in your selection, you might have issues with the neck part that's generated by AI. It doesn't look natural, but if you give it more playroom, it's going to be able to create a good blend for the neck and the shirt. Right here, that's a good result. Even though I've typed in a white business shirt, it gives me a blue one. That happens, but the neck looks fine, which is the most important part here. Here you would have to clean it up a little bit. For the blue one, the neck is good. We could use that. You also want to check the bottom right here, where the arm meets the pants. You may have to clean that up a little bit afterwards. When all of your results are unusable, just regenerate it. And usually after three or four iterations, you will have at least one thing to work with. And here we have a problem with the neck. You see a red part where chest hair could be. But this one's fine. And this one's almost perfect, even though it's black. But this is the way Generative Fill currently is able to change clothes in photos. I hope this video was helpful. Thank you for watching and I'll see you next time.